We have studied diffraction and interference patterns produced by one slit and two slits. But what if there are more than two slits? Let's take a look at these. Suppose all these slits are equal distance apart, and the distance between adjacent slits is d. For double slits, we get bright fringes that are equal distance apart. And the equation we have is d sine theta equals to m lambda. And all the bright fringes happens where the m is 0, 1, 2, 3, that kind of number. So the bright fringe at the center of the screen is m equals to 0, zeros order. And then the next ones will be first order, second order, third order bright fringes. And all these fringes, they have just about the same brightness. If there are three slits, we would still get maximum intensity at m equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Because if wavelets from these two slits are in phase, so peak meets peak, these two would also have their peaks meet at the same time. Therefore, all three wavelets would have constructive interference at m equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. We would also see these smaller peaks in between the m equals to whole number maxima. Because we can have the wavelets from these two slits be constructive so that 2d 2d sine theta equals to whole number m times the wavelength. But of course, in this case, the wavelet from the middle slit would be half a wavelength off and produce destructive interference. That's why these peaks in between are smaller, have lower intensity. If we add one more slit to make it four slits, then we're going to get two smaller humps in between those m equals to whole number maxima. And those two smaller humps would be even weaker in intensity than those ones over there. It turns out that the more slits we add, the more and the smaller the little humps we have in between. As a result, we get narrower, sharper m equals to whole number maxima. If we have lots and lots of slits, we end up with the very sharp m equals the whole number maxima and nothing in between those maxima. This thing with lots and lots of slits is called a grating. When we shine light at a grating, the pattern on the screen would be sharp bright points if the light source is a point source or sharp bright lines if the light source is long along the slit direction. Unlike these thick bright fringes that are hard for us to get very accurate theta or y measurements, the sharp lines produced by a grating can be measured much more precisely. So gratings are what we use in a spectrometer. A spectrometer is a device that is used to measure the wavelength of a light. Here I have a diffraction grating that has 530 grooves per millimeter, which means 530 slits per millimeter. There are very many slits that are very closely spaced, so we cannot see the slits, and this grating looks transparent. I will shine a laser beam at it, so you can see the bright maxima this diffraction grating produces. Here on the screen, you can see there's the, the brightest spot at the center, that is the zeroth order m equals to zero. And then the two bright spots on the on each side of the m equals to zero, they are the m equals to one. And then a little bit farther down, the dimmer ones, the bright spots on the left and the right side, they are the m equals to two. For grating, we have d sine theta equals to m lambda, and when m equals 0, 1, 2, 3, we get the zeroth order, first order, second order, maxima. And for small angle only, we can replace the sine theta with y over l, which means that for small angle only, y would be proportional to m, which means the bright lines on 
the screen should be evenly spaced. But if the angle is not small, the lines on the screen would not be evenly spaced. Because d sine theta equals to m lambda, for the same slit separation d and the same order number m, different color lights with different wavelengths would give us maxima at different angles. So if we shine a white light at a grating, we will be able to separate the different colors in a white light. Here I have a CD disc, which is kind of like a reflection grating because of its spiral track with small pitted surfaces. As you can see, the different color lights have maxima at different angles, so the rainbow colors get separated.